three and thirteen. That was the record that the, that the New York Football Giants compiled in 2017. It wasn't pretty by any means. Everything was a total mess. There were off-field issues, poor play all around on the field, injuries. And quarterback Eli Manning was benched for one game, which snapped his 210-game starting streak, which stands as now the second most in the for any quarterback in NFL history, in the NFL only behind Brett Favre's 297 games in a row. Speaking of Eli Manning and quarterbacks in general, what will the Giants do in the upcoming 2018 NFL Draft in the, in the next couple months? New York owns the number two selection in the first round. It's the highest pick that the Giants will have, is taking Lawrence Taylor with the number two pick in 1981. The Giants could go a couple different ways, and I'm going to quickly talk about a few players and a few positions in general who they could take with the number two overall pick in the first round of the 2018 NFL Draft. Option number one is definitely quarterback. When you pick this high, you're obviously picking this high for a reason, and obviously like I just mentioned, the whole season was a mess and nobody really played well at all. The Giants recently cleaned house and had a new GM and Dave Gettleman who came over from the Panthers and head coach Pat Shermer who was the offensive coordinator with the Minnesota Vikings who made it to the NFC Championship game this past season or this season that's still going up now. Super Bowl is in like a couple days. Last week in his press conference and radio appearance, Shermer sure sounded like Manning who is now 37 and, and is entering his 14th season in the NFL will be the starting quarterback for Big Blue. However, being that his play has declined and obviously he isn't getting any, any younger, the Giants need to draft his heir apparent. When you're picking this high at number two, you're obviously picking there for a reason. They took Davis Webb from California in the 2017 draft in the middle rounds, in the middle rounds but obviously he didn't play and wasn't even active for the last couple of games. Instead, Geno Smith got a look for a game when they decided not to play Eli, not, not to start him. Anyway, three main guys to keep your eyes on if you haven't already. Or Sam Darnold from USC, Josh Rosen from UCLA, and Josh Allen from Wyoming. Depending on who you talk to and what website you're on, everyone will have a different ranking of the, of the three signal callers. Allen is big, has a cannon for an arm, is mobile, performed well at the Senior Bowl, but he came from a smaller school and struggled against better competition. Rosen has the talent to succeed, but is his personality a fit for all the media attention that he'll get in New York and the big city. Manning was perfect in the spotlight. His laid back and you know, classy attitude, I guess you could say, helped him. It's kind of like Derek Jeter with the New York Yankees. They, they, they both fit that mold. Nothing got under their skin. Rosen also has a durability issues, having dealt with shoulder problems, knee problems, and concussions uh, during his time in college at UCLA. He did put up great numbers this past season. And, you know, he really, has the, he really showed the ability to put his team on his back. Um, the one game sticks out to me is when he guided the Bruins to a big comeback win over Texas A&M. Sam Donald was turnover prone as a redshirt sophomore this, this past season for the Trojans. He had 13 interceptions, had a slew of fumbles as well, showing ball security isn't really his great strength. Out of the three, Rosen is more of the natural quarterback, I guess you could say. The more natural fit. The Cleveland Browns hold the top pick in the draft again. And honestly, they'll, even though they have, they just had a rookie quarterback this past season, is Sean Kaiser. They're likely to draft a new quarterback again, either from competition or they could take, or they could also they have they also have a later pick in the first round, I believe number four or five, somewhere around there. And they could also take you know Baker Mayfield and Lamar Jackson and draft someone else with the first pick, or they they could trade down. But one good thing is why I decided to make this video later in the week than I planned it earlier in the week, is that Redskins traded for quarterback Alex Smith. Now, Washington had, obviously has had Kirk Cousins start for the past few years, and, you know, they haven't really got along, I guess you could say, and, um, you know, you never know if Kirk Cousins will sign with the Browns. Um, you know, obviously, I don't know if who would who would really want to go there, so to speak, but you never know, right? It's the NFL, it's a business decision, so you might get paid. So, depending on what the Browns do, the Giants could have all three options on the table. If not, then we'll, they'll be able to choose out of, you know, either Josh Rosen and 
and Sam Donald or Josh Allen and Josh Rosen or Josh Allen and Sam Donald. You never know. Um, it'll be interesting to see over the next few weeks and months um, where the evaluations stand for all three quarterbacks and um, as more information comes out, what the Giants will want to do if they decide to move on a quarterback for the future. Another position um, that's an up that the Giants could take with the number two selection is running back. And the really only running back that fits right now is, you know, who's what's become like a generational talent in Penn State, Saquon Barkley. Um, honestly, I've seen him in person. He's a really, really outstanding back. Um, you know, being being in, Ru in Rutgers territory in the Big Ten now, um, you know, I covered I covered Rutgers football. I was a fan of the past and whatnot. Um, so I've seen Barkley up, Barkley up close. Um, the, the only issue is now running backs in the NFL these days aren't really prioritized at you know being selected high. You know you can really find really good backs in the in the middle rounds, later rounds. Um, somebody like Kareem Hunt, uh, who was just chosen by Kansas City, and you know years ago um, the Giants actually took him out Bradshaw in the seventh round, and he turned out to be a very good back for a couple years there in, in New York. Um, but uh, speaking of Barkley, he's strong. He's really, he's really, he's really, really strong back, powerful back. He's fast too. Um, he's humble, and he put up really gaudy stats. And he's a three-down back, something that's, you know, something that some backs obviously can't do. Some backs he he can catch. And um, you know, if you want to use him on special teams, he's an effective returner. Yeah, he returned two kickoffs, touchdowns this year. Um, but I uh, funny thing is, I just mentioned Rutgers. They actually held him. To um, I believe 34 yards this year in 2017. I, Penn State still won the game. Um, they obviously had better overall talent. Uh, Penn State had a good season, and um, you know Rutgers on the rise, and they helped, and they actually helped Barkley, who was actually committed to Rutgers um, in his class, but eventually uh, de decommitted. A lot of people decommitted that year. So, but um, yeah, but obviously if you take a running back, it's a risky pick because. Um, the Giants don't have a shaky off. They have a shaky offensive line, and um, you know, obviously, they still have Ben Gallman and Paul Perkins on the roster at running back as well. Um, Shane Shane Vereen and Orleans Darkwa are um, a free agent, so um, it would make sense the Giants to take a running back at some point. But I just don't think that they will take uh, Barkley with the number two pick. But it's always an option. The third option for the Giants to do with the number two pick in the NFL draft is to take an offensive lineman. Uh, when Pat Shermer uh, came aboard and you know said in his introductory press conference um, along the lines of how it starts with the offensive line, it honestly it was music to my ears. It was the most standout quote for the entire press conference. I was so happy. The Giants have tried to fix this offensive line for years now, and it's still terrible. And a lot of guys are free agents this year, too. So, um, the Giants will definitely need to fix it. Um, when Sh Shermer came from the Vikings, they signed and drafted a new offensive lineman. And it really, really helped them. Um, they also took a running back in Dalvin Cook. Oh, he got hurt and everything. But um, using the offensive line and a great defense, the Vikings made it to the NFC Championship. And um, with that, a real potent offense in general. Skill, skill positions, guys, in general. And... Um, you know the offensive line really did did wonders for the team, and um, they used that to make go as far as they did. Um, now, obviously, the Giants need QB and running back help, but they won't be able to do anything uh, without an offensive line protecting Manning or again a quarterback who they draft. You may never know, or Davis Webb. And um, you know, uh, speaking with the number two pick, um, some options include Notre Dame's Quentin Nelson and Mike McGlinchey. Um, one's a guard, one's a tackle. Um, in the, but you never know, and um, you know maybe maybe second round, third round, um, they could take um, possibly Connor Connor Williams from Texas or Orlando Brown from Oklahoma, who I personally really like. Um, but you might see uh, you might see the Giants taking off his line with them to pick, but uh, it might be better for them to wait till till day two. The number four option and last option I have for you guys today is to trade down. This is this is kind of like the unpopular pick. Um, you know, obviously, um, picking number two is, you know, I don't want to say special, because it's obviously if you're picking number two, you're probably picking for the wrong reasons, like the Giants are. But when the Giants are trying to get back to the playoffs, their respective franchise, um, you need to acquire as much talent as you can. Honestly, to my, in my opinion, I, think, I believe I wrote a column at one point 
Um, Jerry Reese overall was not a very good GM. GM. He had tons of misses, only a few hits. Um, when you trade down, um, you were able to stockpile more talent, which the Giants obviously need, more, more draft picks. And also, you obviously can also trade away those draft picks that you just acquired to get um, you know, a veteran or somebody on another team that's a very good player and um, that can help you in that way as well. But um, overall, the verdict to me is um, you got to take a quarterback here. You know, I'm obviously no expert on these players. I cover high school sports and um, I cover Rutgers football and basketball wrestling. But, um, you know, as a sports writer now, as a Giants fan, um, it makes sense to take a quarterback no matter who it is. Uh, with the number to pick the NFL draft. Um, you know, over over time, I liked Rosen the best. Um, but as I, you know, I kind of, I'm kind of leery about all his injury history and his personality. Um, uh, I know in the head to head battle this year, Rosen won and looked a lot better than, than Darnold. And, um, you know, I, I know Car Carson Wentz, for example, with the Eagles, you know, he performed well even though he came from a small school like, like Wyoming and, and Josh Allen. But when Josh Allen didn't perform well against, like, when they played bigger teams, more, you know, better better teams, it, it really, it really, like, um, it really make, made me shy away from wanting him on the, on, the, on my team, on the Giants. But, um, you know, I'll be happy. Overall, though, um, I think I like, I still like Rosen the best. He's more natural. Um, he stands in the pocket, has, has a pretty good arm, so, um. So, Josh Rosen is my pick for the Giants with the number two pick. So there you have it, guys. Um, who who would you if you were the, if you were Dave Gettleman, who would you take with the number two pick in the draft for the New York Giants? Um, like I said, I'm going with with Rosen or you know any quarterback. Just just make sure their evaluations and all the background checks fit. And um, the Giants really should really go go quarterback. But um, I like to I like to know what, what you guys think. Drop a Drop a comment in the in the comment section below, and um, and provide your reasons on why, who you think or what position that you think that the Giants will take, and who who you would personally take with the uh, number two pick in the NFL draft if you were the Giants. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Um, I know I didn't really introduce myself in the beginning. Um, if you don't know me already, Chris, Chris Nowoski. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at Chris Wasky. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, you know, um. I don't know if you guys are aware, but recently YouTube kind of changed their whole monetization thing and, um, you know, policies and whatnot and rules and, um, you know, <clears throat> a couple months ago I applied for monetization and I've been getting very little, um, you know, um, I haven't even got like my first paycheck from, from YouTube, I guess, it's still, it's still adding up, um, you have to reach a certain amount before, before you get anything, um, you know, I've been... I a sports writer, sometimes it's hard to make a lot of money, and um, I enjoy, I start, I'm starting to really enjoy making making more videos, um, t filming games that I go to and whatnot, and, um, but now that YouTube changed the whole policies, the whole whole big thing, um, I, the, one of the big main things is 4,000 watch hours in the last 12 months, and 1,000 subscriptions, and obviously, I don't, I don't have either, it's a real bummer, I was real bummed when I, got the email and, and read about it and um, so it would really really be greatly appreciated if you um, you know sh share this video and subscribe if you haven't um, I do a lot of um, high school sports um, obviously I work for um, a big company a big, the biggest uh, NG.com NG Advanced Media and uh, I'll be, when I cover games I'll take videos of that as well uh, and I also also freelance for a couple towns a couple town local um, tap into websites, and I take a lot of video of them. Um, the, all the kids and players really appreciate that, and um, usually it gets good, good, good feedback. And um, I usually get a lot of views for that, so that's that, that's awesome to me. That's that, that, that makes it worth it, you know. Um, obviously, I go to. <clears throat> um, I used to I used to cover Rutgers football. I don't I don't anymore right now. The website that I was on it merged, and you know, me and a couple of the guys were, were pushed, were you know, let go and whatnot. Um, that was a bummer as well, but I did a lot of press conferences for them and video interviews and whatnot, and that was a lot of fun. And obviously, that's my goal to get back there to cover Rutgers athletics. So um, anyway, long story short, um, thank you all guys for watching. I really appreciate it. 
Um, drop a line in the comment section below. Share this video. Subscribe. And uh, have a great day, man. Chris, I'm Chris Nowoski. Follow me on Twitter at Chris Wasky. Thanks, thanks for watching. Go Giants. Oh, by the way, Facebook called the New Jersey Giants.